Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Cancer. Um, and this Nine of Swords keeps popping out. Now, this could be your energy or the energy of someone else. I feel like this Nine of Swords, though, is someone who keeps coming at you energetically because you've walked away from a situation. This is definitely a masculine energy here. Because you most likely have closed a cycle with someone who was in and out, very hot and cold, someone who was very secretive. I feel like you finally closed out a cycle with this particular person. Or for some of you, it's like your spirit guys, your your angels, your guys, your ancestors, they're forcing an ending or the closing of a cycle here, it looks like, so that you can go towards having more love for self or just opening up a new cycle here when it comes to love. All right. Um, I feel like your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, they are able to see the magic, the manipulation, or whatever that's happening, but they're also forcing you right now to kind of go into hermit mode so that you can work more on manifesting things that um, you are passionate about, things that are alignment in alignment with your actual divine purpose and your mission in life. So there is, of course, some things that just have to leave. Um, someone is, I feel, very shocked and, and upset and perhaps even angry about the fact that they don't have the same type of access to you anymore. There's a masculine here who is really doing a lot of stalking and spying. This person is very obsessed, I feel, with your new beginning. This message is so direct right now. I feel like every single time your chariot starts moving, there's an energy here that is coming in trying to sabotage you. And it's only because you're choosing to move in a, a different direction where there's victory and success, rewards, recognition, Okay, this is that empire state of mind, as I always say, that legacy mindset. You're going towards a windfall of abundance because your perspective about a particular person or situation has changed. You're seeing that someone is not offering you reciprocity in a connection, and therefore you have now made a choice to move forward. So you may be healing right now from a permanent ending with someone, whether you are choosing now to physically walk away from a situation or you're choosing to permanently walk away from a person, place, thing, or situation energetically and emotionally you're closing something completely down and it's because now with this ace of cups you're going towards something brand new and this is the thing that like you've been hoping wishing and praying for this is what you are passionately manifesting someone though is constantly rushing in now, i've been saying to you guys a lot for the past few weeks or month or so that a lot of people are um fighting against entities and, and principalities you're not only fighting against people against flesh this night of swords, it rushes in. It can sense whenever you're moving forward, whenever you are about to level up. So you have to keep in mind sometimes that when you're experiencing like this spiritual warfare, it's not the time really for you to get mad, sad, or even complain because a major spiritual attack it always indicates that there's a major upgrade. It's, we always say new levels, new devils. If you are growing and you're ascending nine times out of ten you're going to have to defeat some type of giant now right now i'm hearing in my head the devil that the demon that protects you some of you have finally come to realize that you have this person that at some point i feel you may have thought that this person was someone who was very protective of you and you may be starting to see that now that this is more of like a possessive energy a lot of people are literally like housing like very demonic type of energies within themselves and they're coming towards you because they're attracted to your light that's what i'm getting here there is some type of low vibrational stronghold that someone had over you or they want to have over you or they're trying to keep this as you're growing healing and ascending and you're going within someone is keeping a very close watch on your light and that tells me that um like i said the it's like the demon that protects you um a, a demon will come in to and protect you not because it it loves you necessarily but because you are its favorite host like there, there's someone here it's, it's an extreme like narcissistic energy of a person who i feel like this person they keep a very close look on your love life on how you love yourself and how other people love you. And this entity for a lot of you, or this person that has this this entity attachment, they want to be 
able to move on to peaceful calm waters with you this is a masculine who is very very stressed out dealing with a lot of anxiety and confused now they could be hiding this from you you may not know this this is a um, situation where someone is going through a lot and nobody really knows the battles that they're that they're facing or fighting at this time but in this person's um battles what they tend to do is keep a close eye on you i feel like there's been a lot of illusions with this situation where you felt like someone was perhaps watching you and protecting you and they are watching and protecting you but they're watching and protecting you because they want to know exactly what you're doing how you're doing it and, and where you're going when you're dealing with people who are very narcissistic or they're dark they are extremely strategic they're very analytical they're very logical and they need to know your every move so that they know how to work against you this is someone who is an agent of the devil they're studying you just as satan studies us constantly to see of course how to stop you and to block you the reading that i just did a few days ago where i said a lot of you you are escaping situations where people are trying to get you to perhaps some knowingly or unknowingly consciously or unconsciously walk into certain agreements a lot of you guys don't realize that the veil is gone so what that means is by you simply um hanging out with a person having any type of exchange depending on what their intentions are for that exchange they are trying to put you into some type of contractual agreement with them spiritually and you think that you're just hanging out with the person um having a meal going out doing whatever something very simple and normal but their intentions are if they can get you to feed into whatever they're doing then you are supporting the agenda a lot of people right now are going to have to be very very mindful of some of the very basic things that we've been taught and like like birds of a feather flock together and people truly are guilty by association and i've been talking about spiritual restraining orders you're gonna have to stay away from certain people not because they themselves are so bad but because they are connected to things that are not good they are connected to a kingdom of darkness and while you are moving into this empire state of mind trying to build your own kingdom your own empire okay trying to stay as close to god as you can a lot of people don't realize that they are connected to things that are dark and what this is is just a separation because so many people lack self-awareness but you have to give people space to be where they are in their journey but you're going to run across people who are very drawn to your light but they're not quite where you are energetically spiritually emotionally they're lacking some type of consciousness and awareness so they may be going through things in their life and they don't see that because they are very determined i guess to manifest abundance for themselves they're not seeing the the really like bad intentions that are behind some of the things that they are doing to manifest abundance okay and so you just have to be very careful because again someone here is watching you and studying you very very closely and they don't have good intentions not with the devil the nine of wands and the ten of swords it's like you're free to go from this situation or you have left this situation with the chariot and the um the fool card being here but it comes with you having very strict boundaries you're going to have to really deny some people of your your energy right now to pretty much like starve out whatever this entity is that is after you or attached to a person that is in your in your space and these types of situations they they're not always bad because a person can have something attached to them and they not know it. it doesn't matter how spiritual you are how close to god that you are we all can deal with situations like this it, nobody is above being spiritually attacked or having some type of bad spirit attach itself to you at all nobody is the problem is a lot of people don't recognize when it's happening that's the problem a lot of people don't realize that they have something that has attached to them a lot of people don't realize that they have gotten themselves into some type of spiritual contract or agreement it could be a spiritual spouse the incubus succubus energy that's coming into your dreams a lot of people they're like well they don't remember their dreams or they don't know that if they're eating in their dreams or doing certain things that they're going into contracts with people and in the spirit room it's like people are literally trying to sacrifice you and have you to go into contractual agreements that will tie you to darkness and you don't recognize it
you think that you just had a regular dream. So when people, and, and th that's a part of growing spiritually. E everyone kind of has to go through that in order to realize that the devil is playing a game with you. You know, so if you run across a person that is dealing with this, it's not so much like I said that they're a bad person. The problem though is that they don't realize that there are certain things that is connecting to them that could for the most part just I guess hurt them in some type of way and if it can hurt them then it can hurt you okay I, I don't know somebody needs to hear that <laughs> it's because it's like I'm, I'm seeing it here it's something it doesn't there's an energy here that's coming at you I feel with very malicious intentions but then you're also dealing with the energy here of someone that is truly just um unaware <clears throat> what else is here but I, I don't like there's one masculine energy out here keep in mind this could be a male or a female it doesn't matter their sex their their age none of that matters but there is for sure an energy out here of someone who is um very 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 focused on your new beginning and i can't tell if this person if they're focused on your new beginning for some of you you have a person that okay because i'm getting two energies for some of you you have a person that is focused on your new beginning because they want to be a part of your new beginning in some way but they're lacking some type of awareness so there is causing like a disconnect between the two of you some of you though you have a person that is monitoring your new beginning because they want to sabotage it and you have to be very discerning of if someone is trying to hold on to you like i said for for good reason or for bad but the the whole point is you just have to keep moving forward um that's the way that you you get around this you just have to keep moving forward it doesn't matter if someone's trying to hold on to you for good or bad you just cannot stop you have to keep moving forward <clears throat> Hmm. It's very two, like two very distinctive energies here. Oh, you know, I just realized, and today is 222. So yeah, there's a choice here. Oh my goodness. There's a choice. So you're going through some type of awakening or someone else is having an awakening. Um, 222, like that's all about partnerships and decisions. Someone here is going through a major awakening now about what they've been giving to, what they, and six of pentacles, what they have been sowing into. Okay, and I feel like someone here, there, there's an energy of a person here who has a lot of regrets and you could be feeling that energy is being projected onto you. Someone here has a lot of regrets because they know that they've invested in something that did not yield the results that they wanted. But then you also have a person here who is now going through an awakening, I feel. So they're lacking a bit of, un like they're unaware of certain things spiritually. But they are making the, the decision possibly to come towards you. So it's like for some of you, you have someone that's on your journey. They could have helped you get onto your journey or you met them at the beginning of your journey. I feel like now some of you, you're becoming almost like a guide for somebody else. You're putting them onto their spiritual journey. But the, some of the, the, the karmic or toxic like energy that you're experiencing is very similar between two different energies. So you have to be very discerning of what's good what's bad, what's evil, what's ugly. Because there's a lot of similarities of these energies here. Literally, with the, if you notice here with the cards, with the Knight of Swords, first of all, you're going on a journey, Eight of Cups. You're leaving something behind and you're on a pursuit to something new. But look at the cards. You have the Knight of Swords, the world, and the Knight of Wands. You have two people that are coming at you quite quickly. But the world means that there is something here that is ending and there is something beginning. There's a cycle that's closing and there's a new cycle that's opening up. So you have two different people here and that is the reason why there is a choice here that has to be made are you going to keep a cycle open with someone or reopen an old cycle or or are you going to go on this new journey there is something here that's being manifested that's going to bring a beautiful beautiful new beginning for you but it's almost like whatever this situation is it's sort of like you have to take a step back to take several steps forward you don't have to go back to an old person or situation but it's it's um this is about grace 
this is about grace and mercy now when in your decision making you're going to have to not actually take when i say take a step back what i mean is take a step back assess and evaluate the situation and really look at the bigger picture here so it's a situation here where you you're going to have to land a little bit of understanding as to why something is so even if this is a person from the past who's been making your life difficult let's say and they're presenting themselves you're going to have to see that, okay, this person is doing this because they have certain issues. However, that's not my fault. It's not my problem. And you need to continue to move forward. Forgive yourself. Forgive that person. Move forward. You can have someone new in your life or coming into your life who perhaps is coming out of a cycle no different than you. And they are learning things and becoming more spiritually aware and inclined but that may require that you see like, okay, they're not quite where you are. They don't know everything that you know, but they still offer something that can assist, like you and this person can assist each other. I feel like there's a lot of people who are going into partnerships, romantic, platonic, business, whatever, where you're meeting people who are a part of your soul family, your soul, your soul tribe. They have a very similar soul like purpose as you and but they're going through an upgrade or an activation just like you but you're gonna have to have grace when you meet those people because maybe they don't know what you know or maybe you don't know what they know so you want to be careful right now to not push good people out but you have to be equally as careful not to allow the wrong people in and it doesn't always mean that a person from the past is, is bad and you have to, you know, some of you, you need to be mindful of the new people in your life. Some of you, the person that is perhaps attacking you is someone from your past. But for some of you, you can meet someone and they don't have good intentions. It's not about timing. It, it has nothing to do with whom, who you've known the longest. That doesn't matter. It, the history doesn't matter. Pay attention to the energy when you're discerning people. And situations. I hope that makes sense. Because I, I just keep hearing it's the, the demon that will protect you. Some of you, you can run into the arms of a person thinking that they have all of this love and adoration for you. And they are there to protect you. And they're protecting you because they want to feed off of you. Not because they love you. A lot of this this energy though to me what i pick up is it comes the confusion is because for one the entire collective is like under some type of illusion spell um trying to because it's the survival of the fittest always we all collectively go through spiritual warfare and and it's like if you know you know if you don't you know you either got to figure it out or you're going to get left behind but a lot of people on this journey have had to battle the, the the light and the dark really is light beings versus narcissists and so many people have dealt with narcissistic abuse that you now truly have like ptsd where you don't feel like you can trust anyone you're extremely paranoid you don't feel like you can trust anyone. So you're afraid to trust people from the past and you're afraid to trust new people in your life as well. It's very hard to discern, to detect and to decide who you should deal with. But this is the test. This is where God really puts you to the test and push your spiritual gifts and everything to the test to see, do you really know who you should be dealing with? Because a lot of the things that you want is coming dressed up in it's not being presented the way that you would think it would be presented. It's not truly as it seems. You know, a lot of people will fall for a, a devil in a dress or a very, very beautiful, you know, demon. Um, I feel like in this next chapter for a lot of people, there's really great blessings, but I do feel strongly the way that certain blessings are going to be presented to you is actually through some type of hardship. And I know a lot of people are like, I've already gone through so much. Why now? But I'm telling you, you're going to receive double, if not triple for all of your blessings. You're, you're not going all the way back. It's just there are situations being presented now where you're being forced to look at the bigger picture. 
Actually, you know what I want to I want to, um, let me see. What, what can I use here? I want to clarify these knights here. And it, it lets me know, knights, it's not, there's no kings or queens or emperor or an empress that have come out. What's very interesting about this knight energy is this is two people for a lot of you. I feel like this is a divine feminine who's experiencing this, where you have two knights. One is at the, um, they're both at the beginning of their journey, but it's like one of these knights is starting a journey over. So it's like someone, I'm, I'm just going to say it because it's possible, someone may be from your past. They're wake, they're they're going through an awakening now, but you have a lot of history with that person, and you just you don't trust them. And then you have a new person that's coming onto your path, and you really don't know how they're going to navigate their their path at this point. You don't have the the bad memories with them in the history, but you don't know for sure like what their intentions are. It's very um a lot of it's a lot of chaos and, and confusion for sure but this is you're being presented with some big choices like you have to make decisions now <laughs> tell me about this knight of swords the moon okay the knight of swords is right here so you have someone like i said they keep rushing towards you this is that masculine for a lot of you. They are from the past, but they don't have to be. They could be in your life now, or this could be someone coming into your life. Someone here keeps rushing in, and I feel like they are projecting. Um, they're projecting a lot of illusions onto you because they're still stuck in the matrix. They're still stuck in an illusion themselves. This Knight of Swords person, they could be um, definitely could be like can't have cancer in their chart or Gemini, Libra. This person's way of thinking about situations has gotten them trapped and stuck in a cycle or an illusion and a part of them want to go on a new journey with you but they also want you to pretty much take on the mindset that they still have they know that they need to change they know that they need to come out of this energy but they instead of doing that they're still trying to trick you and bamboozle you exactly and this person is a serious stalker they're very obsessive Look at this fool car, but this person here has pretty much jumped just completely off. This is someone here who will jump off the deep end and they expect you to do the same thing. This is not someone that's like, well, yeah, I'm, I'm foolish. No, they expect you to do what they do. This is this is someone who wants to be some type of dictator in your life. Um, And this person now, they are, I just heard casting and conjuring. So this person could be into some type of magic. Or manipulation they're definitely an illusionist for sure i feel like this person is um someone who with the moon card they like to create a lot of illusions right now you have to be mindful of the art of war this person is using the art of seduction okay this person is trying to seduce your mind with a lot of illusions okay and and they're watching they're they're sitting back watching you to see if you are falling for the tricks if you are going to fall off of the deep end like this person is trying to walk you to the ledge to get you to fall off of your path so there's definitely an extremely dark demonic type of entity or force here within a person or attached to someone that you know that is constantly trying to get you to move away from the light be very careful yeah exactly someone here could have scorpio heavily aspected in their chart somehow but Scorpio and the King of Cups here, which also is Scorpio energy, this represents a real death, a transformation and rebirth. A lot of you, the way that you see love, the way that you see life is changing. I feel like you've put an end to a situation with someone. This is the permanent ending that I'm talking about. Definitely could be dealing with someone who is a water sign. You could be a water sign. Okay. Um, hmm. The page of swords is here. Someone here is for sure being caught for, for stalking you because someone keeps stalking you trying to figure out the best way to attack you. This is this. This energy has been caught. Yeah. Someone is stalking you. They are very much obsessed. Oh, my goodness. I just want to sh show you these cards here. First of all, what I just noticed is in this entire deck here, some of these cards just flipped over. I hope you can see that. But look at how the devil is flipped out. But you see how all of these cards are? 
the spirit is, is saying someone here is is dealing with um major obsession okay and this person is being caught because this person is watching and monitoring you because you're out of the matrix so for some of you that yeah this is this is a lover of yours okay i feel like this is a lover who wants to for many of you come back into your life they want to be in this covenant in a contract with you but they can't because they are very dark and this person is everyone has a shadow but this person is choosing not they, they don't want to choose the light they want you and i keep somebody wants you to pretty much forfeit your complete spiritual journey they want you to put your light out you can see it here this person wants you to put your light out and choose the darkness to be with them this is someone here who is just refusing to heal they ref they refuse to change okay but this person is for sure getting caught up with all of this stalker obsessive energy okay so now we're going to talk about this nine of wands so this nine of wands here is someone the Knight of Wands is clarifying the Knight of Wands. The, this Knight of Wands energy to me, it can be flighty. Okay, I'm getting flighty. I'm getting passionate. I'm not really getting um, low, low vibing Knight of Wands energy. I feel like somebody here is very excited. They're very passionate. This Knight is new to their spiritual journey and they're ready now. This is the year that they plan to move forward. We're in the year of the chariot. Somebody here is ready to move forward. Like they're ready now because I feel like you look the hierophant here. Someone is turning their back on some type of status quo lifestyle. They're making decisions for themselves now. They're coming out of the illusions and they're just ready to start a brand new beginning. Someone is ready to put their childish ways behind them. So you have two different people here who are two masculines, especially both are in, um, It's like two different masculines here are going through like a dark night of the soul trying to connect to a divine feminine. If you notice, the divine feminine energy is not out here. There's not a single card out here representing a feminine energy besides this queen of swords. And this is saying divine feminine is closed off to everybody right now because everyone is coming with illusions. This knight of wands, though, is someone who is perhaps seeing that there is a cycle in their life that's closing. But they're answering the call of, of the divine, which is for them to move forward. Whereas you have another person out here, they're seeing that a cycle is closing and they're trying to pull you back into the cycle. So what I'm picking up is true. The Knight of Wands is clarified with the Knight of Wands. So this person's energy, there, there's no illusion. They're coming out exactly as they are. So you have one person here who is full of illusions and another person, they're coming out as ex who they are. And the chariot card is not moving. So this is this Knight of Wands energy is someone that you may be able to move forward with. Now, this doesn't mean that you you're going to build a life with this person, but it's someone that you I feel were meant to meet on your path. And but here here's the Queen of Swords. You you have your guard up to this person because they're a knight. They're a knight. This person could be coming to you with some type of offer. Okay, but they now are facing judgment. This person is facing judgment here. The magician and the death card. This person could be facing judgment for things that they did in their past. So they're going through karma. Okay, but I feel that this person, they're going through the karma that we all go through. This person is going through like a major dark night of the soul or an ego death. With the magician and this death card here, this nine of wands, they are who they are. I feel like they... Like I said, they want to come towards you. They they've had the the awakening and coming to they come into the awareness that they need to move in a different way. And I feel like they feel like they should be moving. The, this person is inspired by you. If because they are a knight, a knight of wands. If they at some point were choosing to be manipulative, they no longer want to do that. So you have one person here, like I said, that is very stuck in their ways. They refuse to change. And then you have another person here who could have had the same type of energy as someone else in your life, but they are now very much ready and eager to change. And I feel like by you having boundaries, high standards and expectations, it's making this person realize that if they want to come towards you with any type of offer, whether it's business or whatever, then they must be willing to do the work. And when it comes to this energy here that keeps on trying to attack someone here who is a true divine being who was born 
chosen and divine this person here they're being jammed up so whoever this energy is around you at this point whether it's someone currently around you or from your past that is constantly being very obsessive um the, like i said the demon that is obsessing over you and and posing as if they are protecting you but really they're trying to possess you this energy now is being caught up because again this is an energy of someone that is entirely too flamboyant this energy has been coming out for the last few readings this person feels like even if they're coming towards you riding on the horse backwards like this person is a real show off this could be like a, a magician an illusionist this person is a real show off and they thought that they had bagging you in the bag like somebody here thought that to try to manipulate you to betray you or to get you stuck in some type of cycle was going to be easy for them but the cycle has already closed you've already graduated like this is already over so if this person is currently attacking you or they recently went through a, a, a bunch of ritualistic practices or whatever to try and attack you it was all pretty much in vain because this contract is already null and void you've already renounced and denounced yourself from whatever this is this person is constantly trying to get you into a contract and they use the moon this person is using the moon and they're using illusions along with a lot of seduction this person you know where the mind goes the body follows this person is trying to get in your mind like some dark nasty serpent but i always have said on this channel sometimes even as a as an empath as a healer you do need to understand that when you drive down the street and you pass by that snake on the road i know that your heart goes out and you want to save it but when you get that snake home and you nurse it back to to good health and you feed it you can feed that snake every single day for for decades if you ever stop feeding that snake that narcissist you stop giving it its supply it will eventually look at you as its next meal and it will strike so this is why you have to be discerning somebody here this is typical narcissistic they're love bombing they're projecting they're manipulating they're trying to seduce you they're trying to get you to buy into an idea so that you will join in this contract with them again even if it's just energetic for a lot of you, this person, they're not presenting themselves to you physically at all, but the games that they are playing with you energetically are dangerous because I feel like this person is, is an illusionist of some sort, but this person has so much darkness. There's no telling what they're into. This person practices a lot of very dark magic. If they're not doing it, they're paying other people to do it. And this person, their, their goal is to destroy whatever type of pursuit of happiness in your life that you may have this person is very flamboyant though they're um very charming very um th this is someone th there there there's several different nar like this is like a covert narcissist they're extremely charming very seductive and if you notice here what this person is doing is with the death card Scorpio energy transformation. I feel like this person with your transformation, for some reason, when I look at these cards right now, this person, they come into your life with this cup to love bomb you, but they want you to get off of your horse and they want you to bow down to them. They want you to bow down to the same thing that has already put an end to their life. So this is someone who already knows that there's no way that they can return to the light. They're stuck wherever they are. This person, so they're sending in like this dark energy towards you and it's to scare you and to intimidate you so that you will get off of your own high horse and you will bow down. This person is comfortable being chained to the devil. That's, that's what they like. There's nothing but moon energy here. The moon is out here three times. Here's the moon, the moon, and the moon three times. So there is nothing here but illusion. So if you're feeling confused right now, take some time away from people, places, things, or situations. Ground and center yourself. But you do need some, someone here is creating all types of illusions here to try and sabotage your life. Somebody is determined to put an end to you going towards the light because that light is going to blind them. It kicks them out of your energy for good. So a lot of you, again, it's like, what we've been seeing, especially if you're going towards um, a very successful partnership, whether it's business, romantic or whatever, especially like a divine partnership, 
these people who have been leeching off of you, like I said, the demons that protect you, they protect you at all costs. They don't want you to get away and go towards the light here. If you notice with the Knight of Swords, there's all this darkness and the illusions here. This Knight of Wands energy here, you have the sun, you have the magician. Okay, you also have the judgment and the death card. So once again, there is someone here who, who is in your energy or about to come into your energy. They are facing judgment. They're going through an ego death. They're learning things that, that it's necessary for them to learn in order for them to manifest a new life for themselves. But there's there's sunshine over here and there's nothing but darkness and the devil with this Knight of Swords person that keeps rushing in. And then you have the Knight of Cups. So over here with this Knight of Wands energy, this person comes in with the fair offer. I'm not saying that everything with that person is, is perfect, but at least they have good intentions. And here you have the Emperor. So you definitely have a choice to make. Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords. And the Hierophant. <laughs> but this is like um, a Hierophant that's not in good energy. This, to me, is someone who is very stuck in their ways. The King of Swords with this Hierophant here, it's like lights are, are out on this person. Whatever this person has been teaching, whatever they've learned, they're realizing that it does not work with you. And whatever they invested in, it's completely out of control with the Knight of Pentacles here. If you notice it though, it's like this Knight of this horse is literally running from a little bit of a little ma like mouse. Somebody here, I feel like they went against you spiritually to attack you, and it's got everything in their their world turning upside down because this person is flamboyant they thought that you were an easy target and you're not because you are indeed a golden child you are indeed chosen you are a healer so the start and then you have the knight of swords and the hierophant yeah this person here is trying to block you have a, a person or this could be like i said an entity this could be something in your ancestry in your bloodline um a, a curse or a hex of some sort but this knight of swords and then the hierophant the empress here the high priestess justice and the lovers page of cups and then look here you see the page of cups with another page of cups one person is getting an offer another person is not and it's all because the divine feminine here can see behind the veil someone here also is a very skilled shapeshifter Okay, because it's interestingly enough how we're seeing that this Knight of Swords person that keeps rushing in, they rush in with all of this toxic energy, but now the Knight of Swords is coming in. This Knight of Swords person with all of this toxic energy, you have to be very careful. They are presenting themselves as if they are indeed your counterpart. This person is rushing in because this, again, is the demon that will always protect you because this demon wants to always be connected to you. When this demon goes out and does its bad bidding, it always wants to run back to the light of this divine feminine for its protection. And for you to help it to repair and to recover. Okay. Th their, their only target is the Empress here. So the Empress now you have to make a decision to say no thank you. When this person comes to you and offers this cup. You have to say no thank you and accept a different cup here. Because you, you're going to have to see behind the veil. This high priestess here. This means to divine feminine that you are going through. And awakening yourself you're not just making decisions based on the information that you see in front of you you're really going to have to go behind the veil to make this this um determination here but this knight of swords person whoever there is to you the person that you know keeps trying to attack your life um you've probably had many cycles with this person this person is trying to present themselves now like everything is good so before we just saw the king of swords with the hierophant and the knight of pentacles this is the shadow aspect of this person but what are they doing they're rushing into you this person always rushes in that's how you will know who this is this person they don't move slowly they move towards you very quickly and aggressively this person is someone with the hierophant they're going to rush in with some type of communication and tell you that they want to be with you they love you they care about you you know they want to make something happen with you and that the two of you are for sure spirit, your, your divine counterparts, you're meant to be. This is what this person does to seduce your mind because they know that that's what you want. 
They know they know what you want. They know what you like. They know what you want to hear. They're using what they know um, about you against you. But this person also is extremely obsessed. This person knows everything about you. They know things about you that you haven't told them because they're doing things both physically and spiritually to watch you, stalk you, and spy on you. They may even be watching, stalking, and spying on any other people who come into your life. This person is shape-shifting. And they're a very skilled shapeshifter. This is for sure a warlock shapeshifter that you're dealing with in your energy that's doing this. So divine feminine, like I said, you now for justice, you're the one that has to make the decision to see the truth about this connection. And the lover's card also speaks of a choice. And there's two options here. Two, two, two. This, this message was meant to come out. There's one option here that it's, it's just not going to get off the ground. And then there's another one here that has potential. But someone here is absolutely trying their hardest to get you to submit. And I feel like this person is for sure shape-shifting a lot energetically. They're trying to embody the energy that they think that you want. They're even trying to take on the energy of the, the type of person that they know that you're trying to manifest. But they're, they're false. This person is a serious trickster spirit. Page of Wands, yeah. You have to take charge. This Page of Wands, I feel like, is divine feminine. You, you're, you're needing to liberate yourself. Yeah. You need to liberate yourself because th there's a serious, look at this. This king of pentacles here is holding on to his pentacle, meaning this person has secrets. They're lying. They're stingy. They're superficial. They could have all the money in the world and they wouldn't share it with you. Behind it is the queen of pentacles. But this person is presenting themselves to you like they would give you the world. Behind all of that, though, is the real king of pentacles, your actual match. The person who lets it be known that they're willing to build with you. This isn't just this isn't about money just because it's pentacles. This is about someone's investment in you. How will they invest in you emotionally, spiritually, and energetically? The hangman. One of the both of these people are going through an awakening. It's two different masculines here. But one, they really do see your worth and they know exactly what they need to do. There's a tower here. I feel like one of these masculines is creating tower moments. And because they're getting caught, they're trying to repair the situation. For sure. But it's like another masculine here is trying to, I guess you could say, like, I feel like prevent a tower moment. Because there's somebody out here who really wants to make something different. But for sure. This energy that keeps attacking you, they're going to have to leave you alone very soon because they're going to be left out in the cold energetically. Whatever this person was invested in trying to do to you, it did not work. So if this is your story, just know whoever was working so hard at trying to attack you and force you into some type of submission or force you back into some type of contract that will connect you to their kingdom of darkness, it did not work. It didn't. And if you right now have, you know, several different people in your life, in your energy, like I said, just be very discerning. You, you just need to make it clear what your intentions are and ask God to align you with what you know is truly for you. Because you have people who are dark and people who are coming out of darkness, who are choosing the light that are trying to connect with you. Be very discerning. Let's just go back to this deck and see what's um, an outcome. Divine Feminine is not out here. So God is keeping Divine Feminine out of the way. God is saying, set your intentions and let him do the rest. Look at that. Two of swords. You're at a crossroads right now. And you're going to have to walk by faith and not by sight because what you see, it isn't as it seems. Yeah, four swords. Take take some time out right now. 
There's there's no no rush. There's no need. You don't have to cry over any type of spill spill milk right now. There is for sure a lot of deception, some type of scandal that is happening in the background as well as around you. But it's like you're being advised right now to focus on being grounded, focus on your stability, your security. But do not allow this situation to get the best of you. You need to be really, really um, tapping into your higher self and allowing this upgrade to take place. You're you're being tested in this way right now at this crossroads in between worlds because you're ranking up spiritually. And someone is for sure out to get you. And they're watching and monitoring you. For some of you, you are going into a very um, significant partnership or relationship of some sort. Someone is watching and they're hacking and they're spying on this connection because they're trying to figure out the best way to cause chaos, conflict, because of their jealousy and their envy and obsession over you. Yeah, this King of Cups person here, this person who thinks that they have mastered seduction that has all of these deep feelings for you. Again, this demon who is posing as if they protect you, who is actually just trying to possess you for their own personal gain. Um, they have to be left out in the cold. And right now they are being left out in the cold energetically. So they are coming in, of course, to love bomb you. This person is experiencing a tower in their life. The Hierophant and the Four of Wands. This is divine intervention, though, that is going to bring, come in when you make the decision, like I said, to set your intentions to move away from this energy. God is coming in to really, really give you a lot of upgrades in your stability, your security, your family, home life, um, your commitments. But you have to first clear and cleanse out this energy. Here is the emperor now. So when you clear out all of this energy of this past person, or even if there is a new person that is currently around you for some of you there's just your energy just has a lot of unclean spirits right now that you're needing to get rid of and most people will say well there's nobody around me no they're not around you but they're still accessing you energetically so you're, you're they're still watching you and accessing you energetically okay and this is causing some type of instability somebody these these masculine energies right now they are dealing with a lot of instability so if you are dealing with them or allowing them in your energy in any way, it's bleeding over into your life and it's going to cause instability. And now here we have it. Two, two, two. Okay. <clears throat> Where's the two of swords? Two of swords. You could be seeing 22, 22. Okay. The, the two of wands. This is about you turning your back on something and moving towards your, your life, towards your purpose, going out into the world, moving away from stalemate situations, especially when it comes to different um, connections here. This is moving away from third party situations, no longer being willing to juggle or hold on to the idea that your perfect person is currently with somebody else because a reader told you that it was your twin flame. You know what I'm saying? Like this is you waking up and saying, no. Your self-worth and your value is more important than you being in any type of situation where there is a lot of um, indecisiveness, a lot of juggling, the instability. You're, you're going to have to really figure out what the what what the cost of peace is for you. Like, what, what does that really mean? Because you do have wish fulfillment that's coming. The Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Your emotional cups are about to overflow and that comes from you having stability and security within self. This may mean that you need to enjoy your single season. I don't think that a lot of you are meant to be single for much longer, but you do need to hold back from something or someone in order for the right energy to come in. The Eight of Wands and then the Page of Cups. You will start to receive a lot of romantic offers and eventually you will receive a romantic offer from someone who is an angelic divine being instead of this demon or this like these people that have these attachments to them that confuse you. Yeah. You're going to have to stop worrying about how much you've invested in a situation. A lot of people right now are afraid to move completely away from things because you've invested so much. And the idea of starting over is what's bothering you. But spirit is saying, no, go ahead and give this up. Because if you make this final push to still believe in God and to believe that you can have love or whatever you want after heartbreaking and the interference in your life, then you will be gifted with someone, this King of Wands. And a lot of you, that's that Knight of Wands person who may be new to their journey, but they're on their way to becoming a King of Wands. 
That's if you choose this person because the two masculines that are out here, you don't have to choose either one of them. But one of them does have good intentions and one does not. Yeah. Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Eventually, there's going to be someone who's going to take the lead. They're going to see that you've had some type of pain. Somebody's going to come into your life. They're going to know that you've had a very painful ending here. But they are still going to take action to offer you um, a new beginning here. This going to lead, the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. Like I said, this is something you guys is going to be slow and steady. It's going to be slow and steady, but it's something here that is destined. It's something that's going to come in and it's going to give you karmic justice for whatever has been happening in the past. A lot of you, you have connected to people in your life, especially romantically and in your friendships due to various um, like outdated thinking and conditioning and situations that have happened within your family and that has happened from several generations just in your bloodline. You're always connecting to a, a certain type of person because those genera generational hexes and curses are there because you're still tied into a covenant with your family. So you're attracting certain things. I just I just explained this to, to someone the other day. It's sort of like if, you know, like people always say, birds of a feather flock together. So here you are. You're the only empath, but you're always hanging around narcissists or you always attract narcissists. Well, typically opposites attract. But if you come from a family of narcissists, if your parents are narcissistic and you have the, the four mothers or four fathers in your family are narcissistic, you will, if you're an empath, which most empaths are born to narcissists, okay, you're chosen to break that generational curse of narcissism. Of course, most of the people that when they pass by your house, it's, it's, it's on the front door. This is a home of narcissists. Well, here you are. You're the empath sitting in the back room. Every, all of the narcissists in the neighborhood, they want to come to you. And when they find out that that light is sitting in the back room, they all will gravitate towards you and they will love bomb you and pretend that they like you. But of course, the whole goal is for them to drain you of all of your energy. This is the reason why you will get all of this drama from friends and family, because you're the one that is meant to be the generational curse breaker. You're supposed to live a set apart life as that chosen one, as that divine being. You don't fit in with your friends and your family. So now you have to decide that you're going to make a decision to turn the wheel and move away from your past, your childhood, and even the things that are in your ancestry. Like your, the trauma, it all has to be left behind. And once you set the intentions to do that, the scales will be balanced and then you will have this amazing person that will come into your life or if this is a divine masculine perhaps watching this you will finally be in the energy to go towards a divine feminine and you will be able to build with this person because you will be in the right energy a lot of people just i'm telling you they're they're moving very slowly because they have not quite accepted the call or had the strength and the courage honestly to move away from their own family so that they themselves could have a family. But do you see this? The Ten of Cups, the Lovers, the Star, and the Empress. Divine Feminine, you're going to have everything that you want. And Divine Masculine, you're going to have everything that you want as well. You just have to put an end to these situations that are very low vibrational and demonic. But they're being covered up by something that looks good on the surface. So this is challenging the status quo. This is, yeah, here it is. Ace of Pentacles, Divine Feminine, you're going to receive exactly what, what you want. This person that's for you, they're coming in. They may come in slowly, but it's going to be a sure thing. Somebody is going to come in and they're going to really put the work in to making sure that the two of you can celebrate together. And God is going to be at the center of your connection. The two of you will have your cup, but God will remain at the center and will be, of course, above all like this is you moving away from idolizing certain people and and things in your life you shouldn't be idolizing your parents you shouldn't be idolizing the people at church you shouldn't be idolizing terror readers or anybody else because idolizing all these different people who are still tied into covenants contracts and, and partnerships and agreements themselves even to their past lives they're teaching you things that are keeping you stuck as well you have to leave out of the matrix completely and a lot of you, like I said, you will meet individuals who are doing just as you're doing. So these connections that some of you are going to go into, they may seem a little bit rocky at first because you both are clearing out energy. 
to be on a chosen path and journey together. And it's not a bad thing for you to meet a person who's new to their spiritual journey. Or if you meet someone at the beginning of your spiritual journey, right now, or maybe not at the beginning, but just where you are now, because at least they have a little bit of an understanding of where you come from, which lets them know why you're going so hard for your purpose. See, a lot of people, they, they talk about how, oh, you shouldn't buy into the idea of potential. When they're looking at surface level things, that's what they will tell you. But when you understand God's plan, you know, you'll see that you'll look at the bigger picture. You know, I, I even have people in my life that'll tell me, you know, when I say, well, you can meet a person and, and they can become a millionaire, you know, in six months. Well, that's just wishful thinking, they say. You know, but you have to stay away from people who are pessimistic, who don't believe that God actually can work miracles. People who, because you will miss out on your blessing. Good people will come into your life and you will judge that book by its cover. And you will miss out on the opportunity of a lifetime because you're unable to see beyond what you see right now. And oftentimes those are people who can't see beyond the veil. So they operate out of fear anyway. They don't see that there's something good that really may be on the other side. They only imagine something bad being on the other side of something that may be troubling. But again, if you are going through a spiritual attack, it is because the enemy has come to rob, steal, kill, and destroy something that you have that is a great, great blessing. There's no other reason why you would be going through an attack. I mean, the enemy doesn't come to steal from an empty house. So just be careful and mindful of who you listen to. And, and, and what they tell you, because a lot of people who refuse to do the work to heal are the ones who walk around thinking that they're healed and they're not <laughs> because if they haven't done any type of clearing, even of, like I said, their own past or generational things, then they're they're lost. And if you've already moved beyond that in your life, again, you, you have to learn how to march to the beat of your own drum. Okay. So make, make sure that your spiritual journey is very personal to you. It shouldn't be about your family, your friends or lovers until you're in a position to put them in a better position while you're working on your own positioning. Don't worry about what they're thinking. All right. So, um, two, 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 you guys, you have some, <laughs> some choices and decisions. Okay. Um, these are the decisions that are going to affect you for this next cycle and you know karmic cycles they comes with good and bad karma a lot of you you have good karma that's waiting for you but it depends on what you do with your free will the choices that you make okay and the last thing is again just keep in mind a person can come to you it doesn't matter the timing or the history okay you can have a person that comes into your life brand new and they have much better intentions for you than someone that you've known your entire life including your own friends and your, your family okay and then you can have people also that can come into your life from the past who are in new energy who really have good intentions for you now it just depends you're gonna have to read the energy but please be mindful of the witches the wizards the warlocks and the shapeshifters because they they're going very hard right now to convince you to join their team Okay, um, so just be careful. Um, before I head out, I'm because I'm seeing a card in my head. I'm seeing the Between Worlds card in my head. Um, in the what is the name of this book? The Wisdom Oracle or whatever this book this is called. Let's just see what comes out. Uh oh. Poise. That card just flipped out. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry, you guys can't see. I'm still trying to figure out the best setup. Um, but poise just came out. Again, to me, this is be poised. There's a lot of different things that are happening around you, within you, uh, in the 3D, in the 5D. Be poised, but be very confident and liberate yourself. And this person looks like a fairy or like an angel, whatever you may want to say. But be in this very lighthearted, divine type of energy. Okay, the, the card that just fell on the floor is the breathe card. So you may want to do some breath work, breathing exercises, yoga, but take time out to rest and to recoup, recoup and, and rejuvenate. Like do your spring cleaning, get prepared for this new cycle because it's really time for you to start creating and co-creating. What's the number on that card? 29. So 
Yeah, message in a bottle. Yeah, th this is like a, a season of nesting. Be prepared, okay? Because you have communication coming in. Yeah, and it's communication coming in from someone that is not for you. And it's saying here, TikTok, someone knows that their time is running out. They see that you're very free. You're liberated. You're in this high vibing energy. They want to come in to try and suck your energy dry, okay, to vamp off of you. This is a vampire. Like I said, this is the demon that pretends that they protect you. But TikTok, this person's time is up and your time is ticking too, where you're, you're going to have to be very clear about the fact that you have to make decisions. You, you cannot keep allowing this situation to just linger. I feel like a lot of you, you've been flexible for a long time and giving somebody um, a lot of just being extremely patient with someone. And it's at a point now where it's like you're letting someone get away with murder and they're trying to pretty much like murder you. There's somebody here wants you to mend a situation because you're receiving a new life. Look at this. Happy, happy. And then look here. Yang, you're literally going into like the connection of a lifetime. You're getting everything that you want. Happy, happy, yin and yang. So now divine feminine and masculine are coming out together with new life and exchanging gifts. Somebody knows that most likely you're about to be in a very serious committed relationship, possibly going towards like a marriage or a very, um, or some type of business deal or relationship that's going to be very, very lucrative and prosperous for you. And I'm telling you, they're coming in trying to, here it is between worlds. Someone here is in between worlds. They know that you have cut them out of your energy or you're trying to, but whenever you, you're, you're sending the message to this person that if they want to come with you, they have to be in the light. They always get stuck. This person is constantly getting stuck in darkness. So now you have the higher power that is laying a new foundation for you. Or you're needing to connect with your own higher power and just see this situation. Observer, see this situation for what it truly is. Okay? Somebody here is, is a soulmate, but I feel like they were meant to teach you a lot of karmic lessons here. And now there's justice being served in this connection I, I don't think that you and this person you and someone you're just not a part of the same soul family i feel like just like a lot of people in your family you were misplaced you you weren't really supposed to be in that you were supposed to be in that family because it was part of your mission and your purpose but you don't fit in there's a connection in your life that you just don't fit in with this type of person. You need to admit to yourself that there will be no marriage, there will be no commitment, there will be no union, there is no purpose with this person. They're trying to confuse you so that you will somehow see more potential. There is no potential because this connection, it brings nothing but chaos and conflict. That's it. And this person feels like something here is unfinished. It, it, you can close this book at any time. And then we hear, have here by the book. Some of you have an unfinished symphony with another past life soulmate. It could even be like your, it could be your divine counterpart. And you're needing to get rid of this more karmic energy, this low vibrational connection, so that you can actually embrace something new that's being presented to you. Which could also have past life ties. But there's a never ending story that you're in. With, it's a cycle here. You just you have to get out of it like completely. I guess I, for me, it's like get rid of the stuff in your house, your phone, your car, your mind. Do whatever it, you have to do intentionally that just set intentions to cleanse all this energy out. So that you can realign your heart, your mind, your spirit, your body, your soul with what is truly for you. Something here, it just causes you to have a heavy heart. And it, it it's nothing but fog. Like your vision needs to be more clear. Wow. I just said this. A car purging process. Exactly. You may be currently experiencing emotional discomfort that is disrupting your inner peace. Financial freedom. As you purge out a lot of this karmic energy, a lot of the business opportunities, the financial freedom, the family, everything else that you want, it'll start to come in. But this this blockage that this um, person or this entity or whatever is trying to put on your heart chakra is what's actually forcing you to miss out on other opportunities when it comes to your finances. 
It says you may be feeling trapped in regards to the amount of money that is currently flowing into your life. It's because you're still connected to something. This is that situation for a lot of you where, you know, you break up with someone and you're still holding on to the idea where we can be friends. Okay, well, your intentions is to be friends with them. Their intentions is to keep you around and keep doing spell work on you. Okay, so when you and another person's intentions are not aligned, then you need to free yourself from that situation. Because although it doesn't look like they are out to get you, they're also not out to help you. So if they're not helping you, then they're hurting you. And you need to get out of Dodge. You need to move away from that situation. Collective consciousness is here. It says you may be feeling overwhelmed by all of the energetic shifts. It is time to focus on peace and love for all. Exactly. There's a major energy shift here. And with this shift, you cannot take certain people with you. And the more that you try to take them with you, the more that you're going to affect your ability to grow and to expand. You have expansion. It says you are getting ready to move up into higher levels of awareness through embracing your life experiences. A lot of you need to see you've gone through enough hell in this cycle. So that you should not be afraid to turn the wheel at all. This cycle has nearly ruined a lot of people. And, and, and if you keep at it, it's going to force you to lose all hope and faith and anything new. And again, going back to because this is so important right now, be careful listening to people who don't have the strength to turn that wheel. You know, those people, they stay stuck in the past. All they can talk about is the doom and the gloom of their life experiences. They're not optimistic about having joy. They want happiness, they want joy, but they don't align themselves with it. You need to get those people out of your space, out of your place, move, shift some stuff around. Some of you need to move the, look at this. Tell me I'm not on point. Energy protection. Your belief that you are not safe may be inviting in energy that is throwing you off balance. Let me say this, especially to my divine feminists, because there's a major shift coming for you. Divine feminine, when you hang around women who are distorted and they do not feel safe being feminine, they will constantly tell you things to keep you in your masculine energy and you will never have a divine masculine. Be careful who you listen to. Be careful of listening to mama, auntie, sister, cousin, and all them. Be careful of the readers that you listen to. I'm not saying go out and be a fool, but sometimes you will not encounter a true divine masculine until you are a true divine feminine. A divine feminine can nurture herself. She's in an energy of being able to receive. Therefore, she's fearless. When you're truly a divine, you're not afraid of love. You're not afraid to be hurt by love because even if you get hurt by love, you know that if it broke your heart, it's going to fix your vision and it's going to help you to level up. Some people stay stuck in the doom and gloom of heartbreak and they never move past it. And they go out and they preach and teach to the masses of how you need to be this masculine person and you're, you become a distorted feminine. And I, I have a reading, it's probably over your eyes set. Distorted feminines to me are worse than the low vibrational karmics because the distorted feminines really feel like they have this game figured out and they're completely lost because they think they know everything about being feminine and they don't. They talk about the so-called karmic all the time, not even recognizing that they're in karmic energy because they haven't even confronted the thing that hurt them the most. That now has them in a masculine energy where they are afraid of love. Like I said, even in this reading, some of you, you have a person coming into your life or who's in your life. They may not be perfect for you now, but you have to see potential and assess and evaluate. Do you want to be patient in that situation? I'm not talking about somebody coming in who is going to take from you. But having grace and mercy because you've encountered people, divine feminine, who counted you out at some point because you weren't where you are right now, especially financially. A lot of you have masculines. They went to somebody else that they thought they would be better off building with that person because when they met you, you weren't who you are now. Now you're a divine feminine and the wealth and the abundance and everything is rolling in. But you had to go marching through the trenches to get there first. Be careful how in life sometimes God will put you right back in front of your face, right back in front of you in somebody else. 
The same spirit that you carry, it can be presented to you and somebody else. Be very careful how you treat people. Because sometimes whether you're a feminine or a masculine, an older version of yourself will approach you at some point. And God is watching to see how are you going to treat that person. You weren't always where you were. So be careful being judgmental and be careful of listening to people who tell you that you need to go and judge people. That's because they themselves, they're afraid of everyone because they haven't gotten over their first heartbreak. You're at a crossroads. But it says here, stretch yourself for your soul purpose. It's time for you to soar. And the divine timing is now. There's a new business adventure, a project, an opportunity that's coming in for you, but you're at a crossroads. You're going to have to stretch yourself, like I said, stretch beyond your mindset and what people have shown you or taught you or what you went through in the past. You have to remember there are situations that present themselves to you now. They look very similar to the situation from the past, but you're not the same person you were in the past. So the situation, no matter how similar it is, it's not the same situation. How you will react and respond to it is going to be totally different. And the type of energies that you attract are totally different. I don't care about the circumstances and the conditions. You make choices based on your character. 